Guys, breaking news, we're hearing that a deal has been agreed to take Romelu Lukaku to Inter Milan from Manchester United. I'm the Peaky Pundit and I'm here to give you all of the information about the move. Uh, we've heard rumours over the whole summer really linking Romelu Lukaku away from Old Trafford. Uh, we knew he was Inter Milan's uh, main target this season or, or this transfer window and the deal has now been uh, agreed between both clubs. From what we understand, reports are suggesting that it's for a fee of in the region of 70 to 80 million pound uh, which Manchester United will be happy with for recouping the money that they put down for the striker two seasons ago um, his stats over the last couple of years um or in total, I'll say he had 96 appearances, 42 goals and 13 assists. In his first season, it was 51 appearances, 27 goals and 9 assists, which wasn't a bad return in his first season. Uh, and then in the second season, 45 appearances, 15 goals and 4 assists. Uh, it seems that Romelu Lukaku's relationship with the football club, uh, and in particular, um, his form broke down uh, under Jose Mourinho, where we saw him um, looking a little bit low on confidence um, and it was kind of a down downward spiral from there where we kind of saw his form really dip um, and then it was kind of identified a lot where the fans were getting on his back as well quite a lot. He did chip in with some important goals at important stages of last season uh, I think but overall his time at United has come to an end at the right time and I think the fans patience with him has worn out. Um, look we wish him all the best. Uh, we know he might suit or the Italian league might suit his style of play a little bit better. Uh, for me in my opinion he wasn't mobile enough uh, to to play as that number nine for United. Uh, we've always been used to having uh, quite agile or quite mobile centre forwards. Uh, one thing I thought that he might bring to the team, uh, looking at his physique, was with, with his kind of big build, uh, he might be able to hold the ball up very well for us, uh, airily go and win a lot of balls. Uh, he unfortunately did... Um, none of them two things for us. His hold-up play for me wasn't good enough. The ball would bounce off him far too often uh, and that would see us kind of, or a lot of our attacking play break down. And when Ole Gunnar Solskjaer came in, we actually saw him kind of deploy. Romelu Lukaku was uh, a kind of right-hand-sided uh, uh, forward, if you like. would see him drifting out wide towards the right and Rashford would go and play through the middle. Um, and to be fair, it wasn't uh, a bad thing. Lukaku got the ball more for me out wide. He was putting balls into the box, uh, but that's where ultimately he had to be as a centre forward uh, to try and score. He also made scoring look quite hard. Um, you know, at times it looked quite hard to score goals um, and whatever else. Um, but look, in my opinion, I think his time at United was done. Um, I think he was given a fair crack of the whip. He simply was not good enough. I'm not sure why that was. Leave that in the comment section below. Uh, was it because of the pressure of playing for a club like Manchester United? Um, did he just, um, you know, never really get his confidence back um, after kind of um, losing it under his time working under Joe? Jose Mourinho. Um, but what's going to be interesting as well now is to see who United do bring in. Uh, we know we're going to need to sign a centre forward. Marcus Rashford uh, you know, won't be expected to play in every single game knowing all the competitions we're going to be playing in. Um, you know, Is Oli going to put his um, kind of faith in the youth uh, and give Greenwood a chance to play um, kind of uh, more games and, and, and uh, up there and partner Marcus Rashford? We saw it in the last game of the season against Cardiff. Um, but look, Romelu Lukaku has left United um, and it is for the deal that United we're hoping for of the cash up front for the player. It's been agreed um, and it'll be interesting to see if we now invest that money back into the squad straight away. You heard it here first. I'm the Peaky Pundit and don't forget to give me a subscribe uh, for all of your United content. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for checking out the latest video. Don't forget to click here for more of our great content and give us a subscribe.